Hi everyone, welcome back to Tiff Tiff Studio. How's everyone feeling about the return of the shoot vlogs? First things first, I have something to confess. I struggled a bit with the title of this video because this was shot back in May when the theme of the shoot was spring summer. And then when I finally got around to editing it, I wanted to salvage it for cozy autumn vibes. But as you are about to see, that is not the style of the shoot at all. But nonetheless, I definitely had so much fun styling all of the scenes for these candles. As usual, for this brand, we were going for a relaxed vintage rock and roll vibe. For this first setup, I've gone with satin curtains, very 70s, and a stack of vinyls and sheet music with various other branded accessories such as guitar picks, patches, and a metal lighter. I always pay super close attention to the details of the props, even if they might not be visible in the final photo. Case in point, the songs featured in this sheet music reflects the specific ones that have candles inspired by them. With brand photography, it's all about the visual details because on their own, it might not seem significant, but having all the elements tied back to the brand create a stronger sense of identity. If I had chosen a different fabric for the curtains, used CDs or different songs in the sheet music, for example, you wouldn't have such a strong sense of vintage nostalgia and classic rock inspiration. One of my bigger struggles in styling the scene was figuring out how and where to place the small branded accessories so that they would still be visible and not feel too random. Because of their smaller size, they could easily get lost among the much larger vinyls and details of the sheet music. As you can see, I tried a few different placement options for the accessories and candles. I figured out the trick was to place the smaller branded accessories next to one of the candles so it would always be noticeable and tie in with the brand. And finally, as usual, I light the candles last. I'll composite in the flaming wicks in Photoshop later on. So next up, we have more vinyls to style with, but in a totally different way than the first image. I wanted to try another image where one of the vinyls was featured prominently, yet the candle still had a strong presence. This meant that my choice for the front vinyl was really important. I initially went with the Beatles' Magical Mystery Tour album since it's such a well-known piece even outside of the classic rock community. I also added a gold microphone and a pair of headphones as musical accessories. And here come the candles as well as one more lighter. I wanted to try and place one of the candles on top but couldn't figure out if it was going to be stable or if it would seem too out of place. So I tried again to place it on the bottom, but there it definitely felt out of place with one other candle already there. So I decided just to try it with one candle, even though I really felt that having two would balance out the size and presence of the vinyls more. After shooting a few frames, I realized the album cover was a bit too busy and too colorful for this brand's visuals. So I switched it out for the more neutral colored and vintage looking Wildflowers by Tom Petty. This made all the difference and I felt like all the colors and elements were now working harmoniously. I even added that second candle on top and just hoped I had used enough tack to keep it up there. This next one is going to be styled in a more spring-like fashion. You were probably wondering why the previous two didn't look too spring-like for a spring-themed shoot. And that's because I like to make sure I'm adding in evergreen content for the brand as well. If you're in marketing, you probably already know this, but evergreen describes content that is seasonless and can be used at any time of year for any occasion. This is important for flexibility and to allow the photos to potentially be used more than once. Wow, that was close. Imagine if it actually rolled off the table. Considering these are glass jars, that would have not been good. I'm trying to create a cute spring scene, so I'm adding a few chamomile flowers around the candle. 
and then I'm using the leaves from the stems to decorate the perimeter of the record. In order to hold the leaves in place, I'm using sticky tack, which will be edited out later. My goal was to create a scene that would evoke a sense of Midsummer Night's Dream mixed with flower hippie vibes. And then for the final piece of the scene, I'm bringing in some greenery. I bought a bag of literal moss that I will place around the rocks. The moss will help evoke a moody forest setting. It's a bit tricky to place the moss so it looks like it's realistically growing on the rocks, but I tried my best. Next, we're working with more flowers. We're really not holding back on the spring theme at this point. I have a row of mixed glass vases set up and they will each have a different mix of flowers placed in them. I'm purposely going for the lighter, softer colored flowers for this setup. The goal is to create a soft floral tablescape. I wanted the lighting to be super bright, so I'm moving the light source a lot closer. And for the finishing touch, I'm going to cover the tabletop with sheet music. Like last time, this may look random, but I'm being very purposeful with which song titles are visible. I want to make sure they are ones that relate back to the candle scents. I was also playing around with the candle placement throughout the shoot. I like having slight variations in distance and height, so that even though they're all in a row, it doesn't look like a straight line of candles. We're bringing back the record sleeves for this next shot. I like trying to use the vinyls in different ways each time to switch things up a bit, even when using the same props over and over again. This time I'm featuring two specific songs that each have a candle scent in their honor. Hotel California by The Eagles and Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix. And then I'm adding small flowers along the edges to make it look like they're tucked inside the sleeves and peeking out. After that, this collection of candles is placed in a scattered looking layout next to the records. Since they have a tendency to roll, I'm adhering each candle in place with sticky tack as well. And this will be photographed from an overhead perspective. I'm always adjusting these candles as I shoot since they tend to roll a little and then the labels get all crooked. For the last shot of today, we're working on another overhead layout. This time, I've switched back to using just the vinyls. Every time I work with just the vinyls, I'm actually using fake prop ones. This is to ensure that it's okay if they get scratched up a bit as I move them around don't want to damage actual vinyls. I'm placing flowers and cut fruit scattered around the records and candles. I've also added a few circular mirrors to the setup. I'll composite in blue skies into the mirrors later. And I've purposely styled some candles laying flat and some standing upright for some variety. For the second part of the shoot, we are moving outdoors. Despite living in sunny LA, I rarely shoot outside with natural light. For the first shot, we're going to create an outdoor spring picnic vibe. I felt like an acoustic guitar made the most sense for an outdoor setting.
we have a white linen picnic blanket and I'm going to decorate the setting with various flowers. I purposely timed the shoot to be in the mid-afternoon so I could capture a lot of sunshine but not have it be too bright. I also didn't want the lighting or colors to be too muted so I didn't shoot during golden hour. And finally, I brought the records outside for the last shot of the shoot. I wanted to create another forest type of setting but this time using the actual outdoors. Thank you for watching until the end and if you got something out of this video I would really really appreciate it if you could give it a like maybe even consider subscribing to my channel as it takes a lot to make these videos a lot of the time so any love is greatly appreciated thank you and I'll see you next time